There are both companies and leaders in the world of network marketing that are making it their mission to collect data, not just your data, but the data of your entire team. So what are they doing with the data and how are they collecting that data? In this video, I am going to be exposing what is happening in the industry so that you can be more informed moving forward if there is a company or there is a leader that doesn't have your best interests at heart, but instead is trying to collect the data of not only you, but your entire team. And here's the thing, they're getting you to voluntarily give it to them. This is the third video of a four-part series where I am exposing some of the unethical practices that happen in the world of network marketing, some of the lies and the myths that unsuspecting people are being told. And I am sharing this not because I hate the industry, I actually love the industry. I just wanna make sure that people are better informed so that they can make better decisions because if you're going to invest your time in building your business, which network marketing is your business, you decide to partner with another company, when you spend the time building your business, I wanna make sure you're making the right choice for you to have the most success possible in this industry. My name is Debbie Morton. I have been in the world of network marketing for a little over 10 years. I have hit leadership ranks. I have been the top 1% earner in a company that I was with previously. And because of being in some of the leadership ranks, I have seen what goes on behind the scenes. And currently, I am a nomad. My husband passed away two years ago. I sold everything. I'm traveling around the world, living in timeshares, and I'm able to do it because I found this industry and I said yes to it so many years ago, and I went to work, and I never, ever gave up. I'm going to divide this video into two different parts. I'm going to talk, first of all, about companies that are gathering data, and then I'm going to talk about leaders and how leaders are gathering data. When I talk about lead leaders, I'm actually gonna share a story that happened to me and my team, and actually I'm gonna say it happened for me because it was a huge eye-opener of how leaders operate in order to get not only your data, but the data of your whole team. So let's first start with companies. Right now, I am seeing a lot of new startup network marketing companies. And the startup investment can be anywhere from $0 all the way up to maybe $50. It's super inexpensive to join. And for the ones that are free or maybe $1, they are letting everyone know that they're, you can build your whole team prior to the official company launch. And so because these companies are so inexpensive, it's easy to entice friends, family, or if you're an online marketer, to be able to build a huge team with something that just sounds too good to be true. And as we all know, quite often when something sounds too good to be true, quite often it is too good to be true. And so here's my thoughts about it. First of all, some of these companies, you can't even figure out who the CEO is or where their home office is. It's They're just out there in a virtual world. And I actually had somebody tell me that they liked the fact that you didn't know who the, the CEO was or the top leaders were because it takes the personalities out of this business opportunity. But in my mind, I'm asking myself, all right, then who is behind the scenes? And we live in a world where we all want something that's simple and easy, and if it's free, that's even better. And so sometimes these offers for these new startup companies just sound so amazing. And what are you gonna lose, $50? Or it's even free. It's like, okay, I'll join. I don't even have to pay anything where I pay a dollar. But here's what you're paying. You're giving a company your personal data, and you're giving a company the data of your entire team. And in some cases, because it is a business opportunity, the data that you're giving includes your tax ID number. And so I'm seeing a lot of these different companies start up 
and especially the ones that talk about they're going to launch at a future date. It might be free to join or $1 to join and they're going to have their official launch a few months down the road. And then you get to the point where the official launch is going to happen and oh my gosh, there's a technology glitch or there's a payment processing glitch or there's a supply issue glitch or one of their vendors backed out and they have to search for a new vendor. It's always like one excuse after another. And the bottom line is I don't believe these companies were ever going to launch. They were strictly doing a startup, ritzy, glitzy, glamorous landing pages and incredible opportunity idea for, for someone in order to collect the data. And whether they're collecting their, that data for future purposes to retarget or are they collecting that data to sell out on the open market because data has a lot of value to it. So be very careful with some of these companies that are starting up and they're launching and they're super inexpensive. You don't get delivery of any products. You can't figure out who leads it, where it's based out of. Be very careful about what information you are giving those companies and be very careful that you're inviting your friends, your family, your team to also give away their data. Next, I want to talk about leaders and the best way to illustrate this is I'm going to share a personal story that was a real eye opener for me in how some of the top 1% leaders stay as the top 1% and in my next video, I, I share a little bit more about how those top leaders continue to generate revenue off of you. But I learned a very valuable lesson about how they collect not only your data, but the data of your entire team, even if you're not even in their, their downline within a company that you're in. Many years ago, I was with a health and wellness company and they had some pretty amazing products. And there was a leader in the company who was very savvy with Facebook ads and he was running Facebook ads. In fact, that's how I got interested in running Facebook ads was I was seeing my company's product come up in my newsfeed. I'm like, well, if somebody else can run ads, then so can I. And I spent thousands and thousands of dollars to learn how to run ads. And so this leader was running ads and he was creating what we call funnels, the landing pages and and it's an opt-in form so that when you run an ad, somebody opts in for more information or they opt in for a free sample. And he had created all of these pre-built landing pages. And he then offered these landing pages to the entire company. He got the approval. He was one of the top leaders in a company. He got the approval from corporate to be able to offer these landing pages for Facebook ads across the entire company. And of course, I wanted to do it. I was already enrolled in courses learning how to run ads and this was a no brainer to opt into his marketing system and his pre-built funnels was only like $50 a month and I already knew how to run ads and now I had all these pre-built funnels. This was like, yay! And so I opted in and I had many of my team opt into it, but here's something even more that he offered, which was really cool for an additional, I don't recall whether it was $20 or $50. You could for an additional 20 or $50 be in a advertising pool. So he was running Facebook ads and he was collectively pooling all of the funds together for those individuals who did not want to learn how to run Facebook ads or set up an ad account. You simply had to give him 20 to $50 a month and then you got leads in return. And so every week you got an email with a list of names of people who had opted into his ad and they were requesting a free sample. So all you had to do was package up the free sample and send it to the address and then follow up. You had qualified leads all day long when you opted into this program. And again, I wasn't even in his downline. 
I just found out about it because he got the authorization from the company to be able to share this with everyone. The company's like, yeah, we're gonna sell more products by having more people advertise on Facebook, of course, we'll let you share this with everybody. And quite often in business and in life, everything is great until it isn't. So here's what happened. Within a few months, he quit the company that we were with, the company that he had built all these funnels for, the company that he was running the Facebook ads. He left and he went to a competitor company that had recently launched. And if you watch my video one, two, and four, you'll know why he left the company we were in in order to go to this other company. But the, the opportunity to use the funnels now went away and guess what happened? <laughs> after maybe a month after he had joined the new company, I got an email that said, hey Debbie, I have left company XYZ and I'm super excited to announce that I've gone with company ABC and here's why, here's why I love their products and I love their comp plan and I love everything about this company and I'm inviting you to partner with me with this new company. I wasn't even in his downline and I am getting an email inviting me to join him in a new company. And every single person on my team that I shared his program with also got that email. So literally, I voluntarily gave him all my personal information and persuaded my entire team not only to give him their personal information, they paid him to have their personal information. And then he proceeded to join a new company and prospect us all. And it didn't stop there. When you watch my fourth video, I have been on his, I finally left it because it just, it, I, I just don't like the ethics of this, but he has moved from company to company to company and every time he does, he's got a lead list of thousands and thousands of names inviting us all to join him in his new company. It is my hope that this information has been both valuable and insightful for you. If you did get value from this, I invite you to like this video and hit that subscribe and you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. And again, my videos are about my travel adventures. It's about home-based business and how to have success, my journey through grief. And so if any of that resonates with you and you'd like to follow along, again, I'd love to have you as part of my community. Stay tuned for the next video, which is about leaders who are flipping their team. And if you are either looking at this industry or maybe you're not happy where you are and you're looking for another place where you can partner, there is a form below. I thoroughly vet any company that I participate in. I make sure that they actually have products that are legitimate. I know the CEO. I know the top lever level producers in the company. I know their integrity. I know their ethics. And also I am partnered with leaders in a team that I think have one of the best training systems I've ever seen in the network marketing industry. And if you'd like to know what that would look like, if you'd like to know what it would look like for you in particular, based on maybe your contacts, your experience, your comfort level with marketing, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. So go ahead and fill out the form below. It's partner.successwithdebbie.com. And I look forward to meeting you and seeing what your goals and your dreams are and helping you set a guideline so that you can, and an action plan so that you can actually reach them. With that, have an absolutely wonderful day. Check out the other videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.